Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. I would like to give the Lord credit today and thank Him for blessing me with these words that He's placed in my mouth and importing them this day over the kingdoms and nations of the earth, if these will choose to listen, to uproot and break down, destroy and overthrow, to build and to plant. Yeah, so the Lord actually spoke to me about the date and when I received the rima and all that. And he said, basically, like, the word is the word, which I know will rub some people the wrong way. But that is what the word rima means, actually. So he's just like, whatever, you get it when you get it, and that's it. So it's not really that important, he said. Okay, there is a small section for any moms that are praying for your son or daughter to become a Christian. Yeah, that is a very touchy situation. He speaks to the dark ones and to the Christians. And also, there is a small part for you, Mr. Man from Modesto, if you happen to be listening. I did find your comment pretty leading and negative, so I was debating if I should leave it up or not. But in general, it is my goal to allow the Lord to defend me. And if He does defend me publicly, then that shows that He cares for you very much as well. So just because he's coming in and stepping in on an issue doesn't mean he doesn't doesn't care. It actually means he cares a lot. So he will be speaking to you at some point about your comment. So it does say, it was talking about the women who kind of look like they have it all together and, and they're, um, they seem like they act like so much better than other people. And he was talking about how it's like a house of cards Basically, their lifestyle is a house of cards that's going to be falling, but also, like, the choices they make for eternity is also, like, a house of cards because they'll be choosing the Antichrist. So he said, For sure, hon. For do they have one ounce of brainy brains like the two of you put together? Well, sort of, but not really, hun. And this last day's deception, babes, my babes of the hour. Or could be if you'd but just... Yeah, dear ones, so it's a house of cards designed to fall splat on humanity. Seriously, dear ones, do you want the furrer leading you through one of the most terrible humanity crises of all time? Or me, Hans? Fine, be one today to me and her as a result, if you must, dear ones. And let's focus on our dear ones for a moment. How about it, folks? Putting down finally and for all time, dear ones, the convo guns of... This is for real the worst recession we've ever been in, folks. Well, yeah, my dear Americans listening today, to her shock to hear it, how it's all actually playing out over there for y'all finally, dear ones. By the way, side note, I know it's hard when the Lord starts chopping your speech up and telling you don't say this and don't say that. Uh, so I've been there, so I know it's hard. But if you start following his instructions, uh, you'll start to see some fruit in some ways that you don't expect. So he says, For did she, she did dare once sniff the condemned truth on her own condemned self all those years ago of, You know what, boys? I think if I stick around in this cesspool of humanity called my own wonderful so-called country, I think I'm gonna... Yeah, boys, think turning into a Kim Kardashian Julie Mermaid all at the same sick time of appearances, dear ones. They can for sure be deceiving folks in this hour. And yeah, dear ones, so I speak of the news, babes, my babes of the hour. Huns, honey bunnies, do you folks even think for one small, naive second the so-called independent news channels in your country haven't been Tucker Carlson infiltrated? Well, think again, folks, of all you hold near and to your brain, for it's about to get some brain-fried territory airwaves out in California, dear ones, if I've told you to move, son, or hun, then chop-chop, babes, let's do it to it, dear ones. Otherwise, prepare to say goodbye to your relatives, dear ones. And no, babes, I don't mean this effing week, dear ones. Sheesh. Goodness, dear ones. Do we think we could do a little more Bible prophecy research for ourselves, dear ones, to see? Yeah, babes, think Jeremiah. Terrible in the people's eyes, Isaiah. God forbid it, Lord, that all this idiot says will come true. And here I felt he was mentioning Micah as well. And, well, folks, did they all pop off the next day, dear ones? Nah, everybody, more like decades, huns. But, well, folks, those of you who've studied the New World Order, their folks and policies, do you even think it for one second, babes, if they for sure have all the technology they need? They're just going to sit around and play twiddle-dee sticks with humanity for now, folks. 
let the herd chill and graze on the substances of life all for no reason other than, yeah, babes, think a little bit of time needed in their view from one simulation to the next. Mm, and here I had the sense he was talking about, he didn't say it, but I felt he was saying that all of humanity would guess the truth if they went straight from the vacay stuff to like no break in between and then just more and more and more. So, so he said back to the message, dear ones, and those of you thinking, this is it, folks, we're all about to die tomorrow, you idiots. So you better get your shiza together now. Uh, apologies for my kids in the background. Well, hold on there, sis. For when it comes to crisis mode, what does my word actually say, dear lady? Yeah, folks, think a remnant in the sweetest, cutest way possible. It can be done, dear ones, for me. To hear from above, dear ones, in the heavenly realms of... Okay, so now Joe and Sarah Blow are over here in Canada country. Blah, 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 and so on and so forth, dear ones, until... Okay, so just... I thought about talking about Jeremiah, but he said y'all should do the research, so... If you haven't looked at Jeremiah and the the other book he wrote, I think it's Lamentations. He basically says in that book what happened to the the people after the prophecy was fulfilled. So Jeremiah is one of the few books in the Bible where it actually says the prophecies, and then it says how it got fulfilled, and then it says what happened afterwards. So if you're wanting a concise, like small picture of that, then I really suggest you take a look at the book of Jeremiah, but I'm not doing that on this video right now. I don't think we have time. That would have to be a whole separate video anyways. And just a side note, uh, Jeremiah was supposed to go to, he had specific instructions from the Lord what to do, but he ended up going to Egypt, I believe, and that was that was not a good choice for him, but he's going to be talking about the choices we make. So that is definitely a theme I've been thinking of lately, all the mistakes I've made in my life. But God's not going to be condemning us for like, oh, you chose to go to this mountain range instead of that one. You know, like it's just going to be, we're still his children. He's still going to be guiding us through. So he said, blah, 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 and so on and so forth, dear ones, until... Yeah, babes, think all familial systems and structures blown apart on V, dear ones, like her, babes, like her. So if you just happen to think for one minute you're actually better than her, all because you could what, dear one? Actually please the peepster, pair, pair, parents, checking in on her each and every time she did wrong, dear ones, and that was about it, folks. Seriously, Hans, if you think for one second her sad sack of a for real millionaire mom is about to help this poor sweet gal out in any way well she's not folks and this little gal bank account should really be egal to some of you will be under i am's care and protection for a time dear ones until do you see dear ones the level of integrity to herself and her effing healing from all the so-called abuse she operates under if there for sure was a so-called do you actually think for one second folks she wouldn't be vying for her mama's sweet to her cash. Well, she's not, folks. And when he said sweet to her cash, he was talking about how it's sweet to my mom. By the way, I don't know who gave donations for the book, the memoir, the first one, but I did appreciate seeing it, even though it was like a dollar. I think if I really was desperate for cash, I would be mad about that. But if it was like even just one dollar, I was like super thankful for it. So thanks if y'all donated for downloading the memoir. And it'll be the same for the kids' book, so when that comes out... Yeah, it's been part of the protection and covering of my husband that I have access to the bank account. So here he's talking about how life throws us many things our way. And yeah, hun, so I mean how to cope, sweetie beady, with the for sure hassles life throws your way, throws everyone's ways, and soon dear ones with... What, bro? You're for sure not on board with this world religion plan? Well, then I'm for sure done with your dumb as F A word. Not, babes. I am that I am is for sure serious when I say it, folks, that that truly ain't how it's going to go down, dear ones. And? Okay, so when he said it as how it ain't going to go down, he meant the part where they see it as a religion, as a one world religion or a religious choice to take the mark. Like, people are just going to see it as a, as a secular thing. Back to the message. And? Some of your so-called dear ones going to hell, babes. Ain't no so-called about it, folks. I see you sweet praying mamas today, dear ones. Praying for your sons and daughters' souls, well-being, all in a sweet move of the prayers, dear ones. It's basically the point, babes. 
And all that you need to do, really, if you want to see of a real change in your sweet gal or little man who looks all big and bad finally for real, but is he sweetie beady in the spiritual realm? Anything of essence to me except a little puffball flower to blow away in the wind someday along with the chaff of this life. Okay, and I saw a picture of this flower and I literally cannot remember the name of it, so I will put the picture up. And you know it deep down, sweet mama, otherwise I for sure wouldn't say it like this, hun. But hun, if this is you today, no more preaching their way, sweetheart, roundabout or otherwise, doll. I know, hun, it's painful to feel rejected, dear one, for all that you are. But well, let me ask you straight up, ma'am, sweetheart. How do you think he or she feels when you... Exactly, dear ones, exactly. So let's... It's time, folks. And here I speak mostly to my American preachers today of... The preaching, dear ones, honey, honey bunnies. If you're for sure not a preacher and not called to be one, stop it, dear ones. And yeah, babe, so I mean the getting in the faces of people. Even if you do it for damped well, dear ones. And some of you for sure do. Yeah, babes, no, huns. No, dear ones, and let's stop actually being that to people you should actually love, dear ones. It's few and far between in the families of this hour, so slack, dear ones. Yes, so I speak of her story, Honey Bunnies, for did she, dear ones, even speak of a tenth of all the abuse she, she sustained at the hands of sick, dear ones, and no, babes, I for sure don't mean physically, but, well, what with her witchy as hell, or seems like to me anyway, as of late... Uh, yeah, so when I wrote the memoir, I was just trying to show like small scenes of things because if I had focused on the abuse, it would have been, I didn't want the book to be, the memoir to be taken over by that, basically. Back to the message. Hello, dear ones. Have you actually read the Old Testament from cover to cover like her dear ones? Here he, I had a vision of when a person reached their hand out towards a righteous man and their hand turned leprous. Yeah, babes, let's for sure not get it twisted on her A-word just because she's reading about David and her for sure for damped favorite passages in the Bible's dear ones. Yeah, another side note, I'm on the section about the mighty men. That part is so amazing. Back to the message. For does she, she would love nothing better, folks, than the folks in Hollywood, too. And did they, dear ones? They did, babes, actually make a few terrible to her, burning them ears of, What, Lord? They depicted you as a child and actually made you say, what? Yeah, folks, now that's some blasphemy, dear ones, not a few. Excuse me, folks, dear ones, are you dear to me or no in this hour? And? So what is the actual biblical definition of cursing in the New Testament, Hans? Are you one to her for this or do you just need to get over yourself? Yeah, babe, so cursing is actually not what she's inadvertently doing to an abusive mother in this Sick humanity hour, she for sure needs this whoppy wop, folks, of... Yeah, babes, let's think the straightforward as hell. What be? God said what? Well, I for sure think you're a real idiot. Okay, folks, seriously, those are my Christy Christians for sure listening today of... And how do you actually work with or destroy a non-believer you just happen to disagree with, folks? Oh, so you kill them online with your words and leading questions. Rude as F question you posed before her online audience the other day, son of mine, or could be in this way. Ain't no could about it for some of you folks, but, well, deference, people. And no, I don't mean no defense, like I'm sweetly giving her now of. And did she actually ask me, son of mine, or could be in this way, to? She did, dude, for sure ask me. What, Papa, am I supposed to do about this sick-to-me situation of... What, Lord? The so-called Christy Christians can be the meanest, nastiest... Life, dear ones, continues to get very strange and soon, folks. So let's not... Yeah, dear ones, a few cuss words on a condemned YouTube video. Really, son? You think that's all you'll have to worry about, dog, in the near future? Well, let I am give it to you straight, son. Just because you know how to maneuver yourself adeptly... More adept than most of humanity, so it's true, dude. Out of harm's way. Doesn't mean... Yeah, dog, so all of humanity is actually going to create special opportunities and soon, dear ones, for them to see. You know what, folks? According to the whole condemned planet, apparently I made a mistake here and here. Well, yeah, folks, so you did. He also said, yeah, folks, so she has. 
But do I, dear ones, take it lightly, sweethearts, that persecution that's about to roll into all quarters of humanity, if they so choose to. Ain't no choosing anymore about it, folks. Some people in your so-called unloving as F, unlike her, dear ones. And you can see it so chillax for me, bro. This chick is for sure living in the mud of lifestyle under persecution, dear ones. Even down to the minutest details of can't, dear ones. We for sure can't go there with y'all today of... Yeah, folks, so it's about to get really bad, dear ones. Think not only liberties, freedom of movement stripped from you, dear ones. But yeah, babes, think your very clothes off your torso like my son. Yeah, my dears. So the manly men of this hour ain't no manly about it, sweethearts, except what they sillily think makes them a man. Got hanging off their own torso. Yeah, ladies. So all that shiza you think is just so important to make you look pretty. Yeah, honey bunnies. Thank bunnies to the men in this hour in the worstest. Tone it down for me, babes. Seriously, hun. If you just happen to actually look like a Kim Kardashian or Marilyn Monroe like her hunts in real life. I know, babes, I know. Just chillax, everybody. Ain't nobody excluded from heaven just for being. Yeah, folks, so she is still for damped pretty, despite a few sad sack as hell marks on her face of. Smiling, dear ones, as felt ear for damped schwer at times, folks, of. Oh, really, Lord? So even my so-called sort of haven't heard from this bloke for years, and there he goes. Yeah, dear ones, if you could but just lay off her abused as F in real life, so it's true dogs, A word, at this time. Ain't nothing rude about her not responding to a big or small rather in her view by now, dis of. You know what, Lord? I think it's kind of cool by now. You actually know how to sweetly use cuss words to get the effing their F all the time. And we know it, folks. Boy, howdy on Veen. Do we know, you darky dark ones. And no, boys, I ain't talking about no skin color discoloration, folks. Flavor for sure. Not her taste when it comes to that dear Boaz, dear ones. I don't know. I <laughs> thought about showing a photo, but I have basically, I call it a mama mark. So it's like something happened after I had kids. So I have this little spot on my skin. And I think a lot of... Mamas actually have those, in my view. And then, um, yeah, my skin is not as white as I would like it to be. So, that's what he's talking about. So, not her taste when it comes to that dear Boaz, dear ones. For is he? He is dear ones, fairly sparkly and new as they come, dear ones. Including his. Yes, dear ones, even his teeth are pearly white like hers. But, well, let's just say a few things have fallen apart over the years, babes, when it comes to her. But is she? She is, dear ones, for sure, camping, fighting too. What the actual F, Lord? Did you actually say it to me the other day, Lord, for real, son, that I'm in Marilyn Monroe territory? Yeah, folks, so she is. So she is, dear ones. And did she not? She did, dear ones, actually delete it from her last video, dear ones, a body shot of her in some effing jeans and a t-shirt. I know, dear ones, I know. So slack, folks. And yeah, dogs, think body shaming the for sure name of the game for her sick mother to do this to her of the balance, dear ones. She's for sure still searching for it. But me, babes, my babes of the hour, or could be if you'll but just. She's for sure still clinging to me, dear ones, more than any man or anything for that matter, folks of. What's the matter, dears? Jealous you're not up for a real case in her case in the past fall? You better believe it, folks of. Yeah, dear ones, so I speak of rape today, folks. And you, dogs, my horny virgins of the last late fall of humanity hour, thinking you just got to chillax for me, bro. And yeah, dude, I know you're white as they come, son. Ain't no need for no black African-American slang in your case, bro. Yeah, dude, so let's keep it a white, bro. In and out, son. And no, dude, no need to lose your sweet virginity to a sweet or otherwise sister in Christ. More like otherwise, bruh. When you see what these pretty little ladies are about to go through. Yeah, dog, think rape or otherwise. Protection, son. And that's it, dog. Ain't no need to be a dog about it, bro. And just wait, son, as I said. Yes, dear ones, there for sure is a thousand-year reign coming up for... All for my virginity's sake, you ask. And here the Lord laughed. Well, yes and no, dude. Yes and no, son. My son's of mine, or could be, but... Well, dogs, let's just say we for sure got some real horny, 
humping their hump on ständig dogs on this channel of yeah my dark ones listening we got to basically start all over with the basics for you folks of your wife dudes or girlfriend for that matter Come on, my Christy Christians, listening to her shocking your socks and penises off all over again of a process, dear ones, like her slow as hell road to more like hell for them, dear ones. Yeah, so I speak of sexual sin falling off their backs slowly, or rather, whatever, dear ones, progress is progress, dear ones. So let's let the dark ones do their thingy thing while they still decide your thing, dudes. And yes, I mean you, my son, or could be. If you'll but just... Yeah, dude, think reserved for your dear gal and your gal only, you blokey bloke. Wanting to blow along fast. Here I had a picture of a sailboat in my mind. On the sexual waters of life until... Crash, son of mine. Or could be, but... Yeah, dude, so you're for reals deals. Hell on wheels, more like it. Yeah, dog, so I speak of a big battle crash into... Again, dear ones, ain't no sex down there or otherwise, like she's wisely said, folks. Trying not to get arrogant, you silly billies, billy goats gruff, who's trip trapping over my satanic bridge? <laughs> uh, well, she is, dear ones. Yeah, dogs, so it's really me kicking you in the balls this day of the day, dear ones, before it truly goes into midnight, darky dark blackness. Yeah, babes, think last chance for your souls to sweethearts. Are you getting me? Like her, dear ones? Roles, babes, my babesters of the hour. You all have a role to play, sweethearts, whether it's in a citified Nazi concentration camp like her, dear ones, or everywhere, babes. I need my babes of the hour to be everywhere, dear ones, like her, babes, like her trembling chin at times in this hour. But will she? She will, dear ones. Yeah, so I speak of lifting her face at the last up to the sun. My son, dear ones. He's for sure the light you need to focus on for now, dear ones. Not her. Not her channel seemingly witchier than witchy to you. Dear witch status of... What, folks? You think I'm just gonna let my lovely ones to me in the spiritual realm? You better believe it, my dark blokes. Get trampled underfoot by you dark ones. For all time... Well, think again, dear ones. Think again. And more like, party time for real up in heaven without you all. Oh, so you actually maybe want to go check it out someday, eh? Here he laughed. A little old vacay from helly hell, eh? Well, yeah, babes. It for sure ain't like no earth you ever saw up there, folks. And C.S. Lewis's rendition of, of that sticky razor blade-like grass... Yeah, so you dark ones would actually feel real uncomfortable all of a sudden if you were to set foot. Uh, I can't quite remember which book it is from C.S. Lewis, but I think if I Google it, I'll find it. So I'll put the photo up of where he, the book that has that, where he speaks of people having odd reactions to different parts of heaven in his, what he created. He made it seem like heaven. Love, dear ones, it's where we're for sure headed with all this, folks. And even if she can't for sure, shake your way in the comment section some love. Come on, folks, she for sure knows this online stuff is just stuff and fluff, dear ones, stuff and fluff. But me, dear ones, you think I really just made all this shiza up, dear ones? Well, yeah, babes, my babesters of the hour, so I did, folks, so I did. And these for sure ain't her brain sweet but naive all at the same time, folks. The real way her brain waves operate, dear ones. And would she? She for sure wouldn't, folks, have the balls to. What, Lord, you want me to say the word penis? Yeah, dude, so she's been around the block enough to know that. Get over yourself, dudes. Seriously, when it comes to her, and that was the for real point of all that bodily disparaging stuff, but does he? He doesn't, dear ones, for sure know at times. It's the real hot mama's deals when it comes to her bod. Enough on that topic, and let me finally digress from it, folks, if you'll but just let your fizzy brains fly their fizz into, how about it, sons, my sons of mine, or could be? Ain't no could be about it, folks. Some of you dudes, for sure, claim to belong to me, but the jizz dudes. Yeah, son, so let's just say you for sure need to follow her wonderful in this way, Boaz's example of... Uh, side note, the only way I know about this is because the Lord told me so. Yeah, I'm not talking about him with anyone as the Lord instructed me. So he said, 
The boxer shorts your ones, or whatever pretty as hell panties you wear to bed, dudes. Here he winked. Yes, yeah, son, so I speak of letting your body seep its natural seep, dogs. And is it, dude, so terrible to do a little extra laundry at times? Nah, dudes, not so much. Not so much, folks. And yeah, dudes, think some of you's getting the real chancy chance to... Yeah, dog, so it won't be her. You'll actually end up protecting sons, my sons of the hour for this. But yeah, dudes, so some sisters in Christ are for real stills going to get scared out in them tribby tribulation waters of... What, Lord? This guy is so nice. He says he just wants to... Yeah, dog, so let's keep it for real simple as F on the scared as hell like her in past times. Ladies, A words of... Yeah, dudes, no effing sons of mine. Even if you think, yeah, bro, think second go around in the next lifetime, you nitwit. Ain't no nitwit about it, bro. You chillaxing on your own condemned self just so that you can. Yeah, dude, think of for real blessing being around the scared as hell at that time, lady ladies. And you, man, manning up and being a real man in, in Christ. Perfect, dear ones. And yeah, hunts, a perfect stopping place for today, babes. My babes of the hour, here he winked. Dudesters included, of course. Love you all. Yeah, so I I didn't want to talk too much about it, but I can for sure say that I find it very manly and very attractive if a man is willing to take a woman for her spirituality and emotional substance and what she has to offer mentally first and foremost before he even goes there with his thoughts on all the sexual stuff. So it is very attractive. So if you've ever, if you doubt that, then <laughs> you seriously need to rethink the way that you view yourself. And it's the way women take men at face value usually, but obviously I've had a skewed history and past, so it's taken me a while to like even do that myself for men. But once I made that shift... Anyway, uh, side note, there is, I'm sure some of you may be using Google Translate to like translate stuff, but there's a great website that has, you can translate words from English to German and they give you like more information. So I will put the link for that if you want to use it from now on to check the German words. The German like letters that have the dots on it is called an umlaut. So you can just Google it if you want sometimes, like A with umlaut, and then it'll come up, and you can copy and paste it. If you don't feel like changing your keyboard to a German keyboard or searching through word for the symbol, I know that stuff can be kind of... So, I know like the Lord speaks of me being sweet, but I think He views anyone who follows Him basically as sweet or potentially sweet, and I thought this was kind of cool. David referred to himself as the sweet psalmist of Israel. This is his last song, so I'm going to quote that one today. Now these are the last words of David. David, the son of Jesse, declares, the man who was raised on high, declares, the anointed of the God of Jacob and the sweet psalmist of Israel. The Spirit of the Lord spoke by me, and his word was on my tongue. The God of Israel, the Rock of Israel, spoke to me. He who rules over men righteously, who rules in the fear of God, is like the morning light when the sun rises, a morning without clouds, when the fresh grass springs out of the earth through sunshine after rain. Truly is not my house so with God, for he has made an everlasting covenant with me, ordered in all things, and secured. For will he not cause to grow and prosper all my salvation and my every wish? Will he not make it grow and prosper? But the wicked and worthless are all to be thrown away like thorns, because they cannot be taken with the hand. But the man who touches them must be armed with iron and the shaft of a spear, and they are utterly burned and consumed by fire in their place. God bless. Um, okay, go ahead.
Papa, Papa, Papa. Can you say hi, Leute? Hi. <laughs> say I'm Josie. I love it. <laughs> And I like to do quatch. <laughs> Where's my backpack? Oh, was hast du gemacht? Did you put money in here? Oh my gosh, Josie. <laughs> Thank you. Okay.